Good trout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what we came for right there, baby. Boom. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on. Stay on. Freaking inhaled it, y'all. Look at that. Way down in his throat. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I am super excited about this fishing trip. It just got daylight. We're on a mission this morning. We're gonna be targeting some speckled trout. Air temperature is 29 degrees. Everything's frozen over. This is awesome. Water temperature is 59 degrees. If you have a passion for inshore saltwater fishing like I do, hit that subscribe button. Join my channel. If you like the video, hit that like button. Let's get to fishing. fish on right off the bat look at that that's a dink that's not what we want golly he absolutely absolutely inhaled that fish bite butt kicker in the haymaker color i think that fish is going to be a little short Just barely, 14 and three quarter. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's catch some more. That was the second cast, y'all. These fish are gonna be stacked in here. Seeing a lot of activity up here. We got a low tide and we're fishing right down the pipe. We're fishing right in the middle. When you're trout fishing and it's cold, you don't wanna be hitting the banks. You wanna be hitting right in the middle right in these deeper holes. Man, I love this time of year. I mean, it is cold, y'all. I can't feel my nose, can't feel my fingers. With these cold temperatures, I would expect the trout to be stacked up in this deeper water in these creeks. Fish on, fish on, baby, fish on. Another speckled trout. Oh, that's a white trout. That's a good white trout. We are going to be keeping fish today. I've got company down for the holidays. It's getting close to Thanksgiving. So we will be keeping fish today. And that is perfect, perfect eating size white trout right there. He's going to go in the box. Oh. Fish number one. We want some of them speckled trout though. Well, we'll take a white trout. We'll take a white trout. Well, he ain't gonna be picky. We want a fish fry. It was ice all over the dock this morning. I was slipping and sliding. Ice all over the boat. Here comes that old sun. <laughs> Warm me up, son, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. Let's take a measurement on that guy. I think he'll make it. Yes, sir. First keeper trout of the morning. Nice, pretty 15 inch fish. He is going in the box. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. Good trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what we came for right there, baby. That's what we came for right there. Oh, yes sir, yes sir. Let's get the net. Oh, good trout, good trout. Good trout. Boom, let's go, let's go. That's what we came for right there. Ah, now we're starting. To, now we're starting to do it, y'all. 18-inch trout. Man, look at there. Look at there. He swallowed that fish bite haymaker. Oh, good hook set. I mean, he he wanted it, y'all. He swallowed. I mean, swallowed it. 
He's going in a box. Anything over 20, I will be throwing back today. Get in there, boy. All right. Frozen trout slime is the slipperiest stuff I have ever seen in my life. When I'm trout fishing, I want that bait, that paddle tail to glide. I, I do a bump, bump, and let it glide. Bump, bump, and let it glide. You want your rod tip up. Bump, bump, and kind of pull through that second bump and let that bait glide on the way down. You want to be as rhythmic as you can when you're trout fishing. I'm actually seeing a little bit of current flow in this choke point in this bend, which is very good. Well, there's very little current at all this morning. This is the first place I've actually seen a little current. And they could be staged up on the back side of this point too. And he was, and he was. Oh, good fish, good fish, good trout. Oh, staged up right off that point, right off that point. Good trout, good trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get in the net, boy. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Just like I just said, right off that point, that current coming around this point, they staged up right here. It's gonna be a good day, y'all. It's gonna be a good day. Look at that guy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Choked it, choked it. That lets me know I'm throwing the right bait this morning. They're taking it deep. They're choking it. That is what we want to see. Deep. Taking that bait. Taking that bait deep this morning. I mean, it's way down there in his throat. Another good trout. 17 inch fish going in a box. Let's go, let's go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, got another one. He's not quite as big as the other ones. Is that a white trout? Look at that, another white trout, y'all. Another white trout. Going in the box. Going in the box. Uh, going in the box. Let's go, let's go. I'll take you. I'll take you. See the ice, pure ice all over the boat. God, it's cold. It's cold, but the trout bite's hot. Oh, right there. Right there, baby. Swimming to me. Swimming to me. What we got? Another white trout. We'll take him. He'll make a sandwich. We'll take him. Right there, right there. Right there. Wasn't even moving the bait. Ah, calm down. Ah. Ah. Don't think he's gonna, oh, don't think he's gonna make it. Nope, 13 inches. There we go. Another white trout. We'll take it. Better size white trout. In the box. There 
There we go. <laughs> that another whitey? Oh, got a speck. Got a speck. Got another speck of trout. He's going to be close. I don't think he'll make it. Nope, 14 inches. Grow up, dude. Gonna have to cull through some smaller ones this morning. But that's all right. Every one of them's fun to catch. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Boat flip. All right. All right. <laughs> Another keeper speckled trout, y'all. He choked that thing. Man, alive. Look how deep he choked that bait, y'all. Woo! I mean, swallowed it. <laughs> All right. Another keeper fish. 15 inch trout in the box. There we go, fish on. Oh, that's a good trout. Good trout, good, good trout. Oh, God dang it. Mm. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good trout. Good trout. Man, what a pretty trout. What a pretty trout. Ah, look at that, y'all. When I tell you they want them fish bites, when they want that, when they want that uh, butt kicker right there, I mean, inhaled it, y'all. Good trout. 18 and a half inch trout. Freaking, freaking inhaled it, y'all. Look at that. Way down in his throat. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Beautiful trout. That's what we came for, y'all. We are on a trout bite this morning, y'all. Same bait. Man, that thing is hammered. <laughs> it looks bad, but it's still catching fish. Boom. Let's go. In the box. All right, let's get some more. Let's get some more. I'm gonna go over my setup this morning. This is my Hobo Custom Rod. This is a seven foot six medium fast action rod. Very lightweight, all made in America right here in the state of Mississippi. Love this rod, has good, good action to it. Using 20 pound braid to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, quarter ounce jig head, and the old fish bite buck kicker, which I love for the winter time for trout, in the haymaker color. It's a white, it's got flakes in it. Really good for clean water. And that's what we've got now. Got some good clean water. It's probably a, it's not gin clear. It's probably a, a seven or eight out of 10. All right, we're fixing to wrap this video up. Had a great time out here this morning, targeting some speckled trout. Got some nice ones in the box. Gonna be a good fish fry. Caught them all on the same exact bait. Only use one bait for this video. It's fish bites butt kicker in the haymaker color 
these baits are tough they are a survivor y'all saw the fish i caught on this bait and y'all know speckled trout will gnaw and chew and tear up a bait with those teeth had a great great time uh when that tide died the bite died too y'all know anything about speckled trout fishing when that tide's not moving when there's no current movement the bite dies off but if y'all enjoyed the video subscribe to my channel i'd appreciate it help me out a lot hit that like button and if you didn't see me in the bayou you can see me right here on bayou bandit charters every sunday morning nine o'clock